Hi, this is Kim Stanfield McMillan from Fired Up Pottery in Madison, Wisconsin. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make the coolest handprint ever so you can have some memory of your little child. Um, you can also put two handprints together like mom and child or whatever. This is a great Mother's Day gift. Let's see if I can so, go. what I'm going to do is just take the piece of clay and just smush it down. It's easiest to do when you stand up over it. And I'll, what I have underneath me is a t-shirt. And so, before you start, you want to have a t-shirt and a, a toothpick, so not hard, and a rolling pin. So I'm just going to take the rolling pin and roll it out so it's big enough so that the hand will fit on it. Ideally, you want the clay to be about the thickness of a pencil. So that's how, that's when it's just about right. Then you want the dish to be able to last. If you roll it too thin, um, then the dish is going to be more fragile. So you put your child's hand on top of the clay and all you're going to do is draw around it with the toothpick, okay? So here it is, and you just go like that. And this t-shirt does not hold the toothpick straight up and down, okay? Because you want it to be able to really get a good cut and go all the way down and around each finger like this. And then before the kid lifts their hand up, you want to just sort of double check, come on back down to the wrist. I was a little bit off right here. You can just go back again and cut it. Now, have a couple of toothpicks because my toothpick literally just broke. So this is real life. <laughs> so I'm going to lift my hand and just check. See, this is already cut out. So what I'm going to do is pull away the parts that I don't need and um, put them aside. Now, I want to have a heart in the center here because that will be super cute. And so I'm just going to put this hand aside gently. And you can see the clay outline right there on the, on, the, um, on the shirt. And then what you do is make sure that you're not going to roll this. So just put it far away. There you go. Take a little piece of clay. Roll it super thin. This one, you can be really thin if it sticks to the um, rolling pin like that. Just gently peel it off. If it breaks, you know, this is real life. Just turn it over. There you go. I'm just going to get it a little bit drier. Roll it really thin. Okay. And maybe the clay is a little bit wet, so it'll be a little bit easier if, it, if you roll it out and then let it sit for maybe five minutes and some of that moisture will go away. So I'm just going to cut a heart um, out of this scrap piece of clay. You can also decorate it gently, so if you have a um, heart cookie cutter or a stamp or something like that, you can use that. Um, so I'm just going to take my toothpick, which is broken, and cut a little heart out of it. All right, and if you cut two or three hearts, you can pick the one you like the best. No one says it has to be perfect. And this one's a little wonky, but that's my personality. If that bothers you, you can come back and trim it a little bit. So maybe I'll just kind of fix it up a little bit here. If you want to cut a template out of paper, you could do that. So there's my little heart, and I'm just going to very gently push it into shape. Then you take some slip, which is that clay water mixture in the container, and you're going to put a little bit of slip on the back side of here, kind of like frosting. There you go. Put it in the center of the hand here. And so it's a little heart and just kind of give it a nice little push. If you want to decorate it, um, I'm going to come with a pen here and just put some dots right on the outside of the heart here, just to give it a little bit of, of extra flair. There we go. So that looks super cute. I guess you could put initials in there too. So then what you do, you want to go ahead and gently put in a bowl. If you have a bowl at home that you think is going to work, we have extra of these. And just kind of gently lay it in here. There. See? Now it's going to make a hand shape into a little teeny dish. And you can spread the fingers where you want them to be and uh, just gently put it in like that. This can be returned as is, just like this, to Fired Up Pottery, and then just put a piece of paper in here with your name and contact information. What we can do is, maybe you have the clay kits home and then actually do it on Mother's Day with her, um, and then make a bowl for the family. If you have a larger bowl at home, like a mixing bowl, you could have two or three handprints, and they can all go together in the same bowl. So let us know how many handprints you want. This is just one, but you know we can put five or six handprints together. Um, and if you're going to do that, um, call us at Fired Up Pottery. We'll give you a little bit more detail about how to do that. But happy Mother's Day to everybody, all the moms and daughters, and 
women out there, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.